have about a 50-50 chance of taking a sting with a flying bullet ant. On three. One, two, three. There's something in my A part of this video is sponsored by Dr. Squatch. All right, last night, something completely unexpected happened. Right now, we're in Costa Rica filming the bullet ant sting versus the leaf cutter ant bite showdown, which by the way, ouch, it hasn't even been 24 hours since I endured the carnage that was 60 seconds of being stung by a bullet ant. I mean, I got annihilated. I am still in excruciating pain right now, but here at our lodge, we saw something that we didn't even think existed. Let me ask you a question. What is worse than a bullet ant with one of the most painful stings in the world? The answer, a bullet ant that can fly. That's right, bullet ants have wings. Mark, come here. What is it? Dude, it, there's a bug on the wall here. It looks like a bullet ant, but it, light? it has wings on it. Can you shine your light like right on it? What? Dude, that is a bullet ant with wings. It has wings. No way. Let me get a net. Let's see if I can. Got it. Got it. There it is. Yeah, it's in the net. Oh, it's getting away. It's getting away. It's getting away. Ah! We got, we got, we got, we got, we got. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, hang on. Holy cow. No way. Did you know they could fly? I didn't know they could have wings at all. Let's get a closer look at it. Ah. In all of our adventures into the rainforest, we have never seen anything like this. The Brave Wilderness Channel has a long and painful history with the bullet ant, because these ants possess one of the most painful stings on the entire planet. And that's not just of all ants, of all insects. From a single jab, <laughs> to a full minute of being pumped with their legendary venom, we've experienced firsthand just how excruciating their sting can be. However, these insects won't sting unless provoked, and we've learned that from sticking our hand into a box full of them. As it turns out, they only sting to protect themselves and their underground colony from danger. But until this particular adventure, we had no idea that bullet ants could take to the sky. But now let's get to the question that I know you're all wondering. Sure, bullet ants have wings, but can they sting? Can a winged bullet ant sting with the power and might of the bullet ant that we all know so well? Well, that's what we're here today to find out. I am prepared to take yet another sting test to see if the winged bullet ant is something that we all need to be concerned of. But before we do that, let's take a side-by-side -side comparison of both of these ants. Colorations, proportions, they look nearly identical. I mean, maybe, and just maybe, the winged bullet ant is a little bit bigger. But outside of that, the only major difference that I can see is just behind the head. On the wingless bullet ant, you've got a couple of spikes, a couple of nodules right behind the head on that middle part. On the winged bullet ant, you have more of a hunch or a hump. I'm guessing that's where all the wing mechanics are contained that enable this ant to fly. But before we get to the sting, let's discuss why ants have wings in the first place. In order for ants to start a new colony, like bees, they have to swarm. This occurs when colonies start to produce offspring that have wings, which of course can be either male or female, with the females being future queens. When a future queen flies away from the colony, she's in search of a winged male from another and hope that they can join forces in starting the next generation of bullet ants. After they mate, the male unfortunately dies, while the female sheds her wings and searches on the ground for a good spot to start her new brood. Once she starts her nest, her stinger actually turns into an oviposter, which she uses to lay eggs. She then exclusively produces female worker ants until the colony grows large enough to need to expand again. It's these workers who are tasked with the digging of tunnels, caring for young, and defending the colony with their legendary sting. All this to say, it's only the female ants that have stingers. With that being said, I have about a 50-50 chance of actually taking another sting in this video. It's time to get down to business. It's time to find out if this flying bullet ant can sting. But before we get to that, this portion of the video is sponsored by Dr. Squatch. Now, when I'm out on an adventure and I'm not being stung by bullet ants, you know what I'm probably doing? Looking forward to taking a shower because out here, we sweat. Get covered in dirt. 
and are always in need of a good scrub once we cut the cameras. Because I care about the products I use, I'm always after the good stuff. And when it comes to soap and shampoo, that means Dr. Squatch. First off, it smells great. And that's what I immediately noticed when I bought my first bar. It smells natural because it is natural, made of at least 98% all natural products. It also actually cleans really well because I think we can all agree that the so-called all natural options aren't always quite up to the job, not Dr. Squatch. When it comes to grime, this stuff works and it travels well, so it's always part of my field kit. Here's some great news. Not only does Dr. Squatch make awesome products, they are huge fans of Brave Wilderness. And because of that, they are offering their biggest discount of the year to you, our fans, which is 25% off any order over $40 by using this code in the link in the description. For anyone looking for a great gift idea, Dr. Squatch bundles are clutch. All right, you animals, be brave, stay clean. Now back to the episode. Here we go. Let's see if we can grab hold without it flying away. I know I say this all the time with ants, but it's unbelievable how strong they are. Oh, no, 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 don't fly, don't fly, don't fly. Oh, no. Angry. This bullet ant does not want to be in these forceps. Okay, I got a good hold. All right, here we go. Oh, it's afraid we're gonna lose our flying bullet ant. They have wings for a reason. Got that shot? Got it. All right, here we go. I'm Mark Vins, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with a flying bullet ant. On three. One, two, three. I can't feel it. Ah! Mmm! There's something in my. Oh, yeah. Stinger's in. Stinger's in. Yep. Yep, it's a queen. Mmm! Mmm! Oh, do you see the stinger in there? Definitely a queen. Got a young queen. Definitely not a male. What's that feeling? Ah, it burns. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> Definitely not doing it for 60 seconds again. Yeah. Whoo, man. Whew. All right, Mark? Yeah. Huh. I tell you what, that burns, but not as bad, oddly enough. Definitely not as bad as yesterday. Uh, uh. Let me put her back in the container. Thank you, thank you. Oh, man. Definitely a female, for sure. You could see there's already raised, I could feel, I could feel the burning. There's already some raised, but not as bad. There's some, there's some marks there, but gonna have to give it a little bit to see if the venom really kicks in. I mean, clearly that's what the bullet ant looked like from yesterday. That is uh, just over 24 hours. You can see just how swollen my arm is from yesterday and it's hot and tight. It's almost like swelling up like a hot dog about to explode. But yeah, you can see right there, you see that? We definitely have some sting marks, but a much, much more mild venom, like significantly less painful. I would recommend doing it. Don't get me wrong. This isn't good. It's, it's not enjoyable, but it is certainly not as painful as the bullet ant we all know. So I have to wonder, why would the flying bullet ant sting be less potent than that of a wingless bullet ant? And if I had to guess, it's because this is a young queen. They're both females, but this young queen is destined to eventually lay eggs, meaning that stinger is meant to actually evolve into a device to reproduce and create the next bullet ants, where this bullet ant is only meant to defend. That means that stinger needs to inflict as much pain as possible. I'm Mark Vins, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure.